at number one, and this has actually been out for quite a while. Well, first of all, we have Death Park 2 Horror Clown. Technically, the second game of its first person survival series of games, and set in a city with a clown who's on a mission to just spread panic. Guys, if you like science fiction stories a tad in your survival horror games and games like Silent Hill, Evil Nun, and Granny, this is probably the one for you. It's a very good game, it's got tons of thrill, horror, and about eight different endings and so many good puzzles on top. Take a look. Coming up behind that, we have Mr. Meat Horror Escape Room. As you can see, a first person horror game that technically puts you inside the house of a butcher who seems to have kidnapped an intern who was working for his meat processing company or something like that. I will say that this is definitely one of those games that keeps your anal cavity throbbing for a good while. It even included several different difficulties, which I don't really get it. However, I highly recommend this to anyone but children. Not to mention the controls are very good, graphics are legit, it has three different endings and just a perfect mix of storyline, horror and, I don't know, just realism. Take a look. At number three, it's actually the baby in yellow. Well, technically another first person horror game where you find yourself in a house with a very strange situation, a baby to be specific, where you'd be playing the role of a babysitter. I believe it's one of the first games in like probably forever, that was actually pretty fresh in terms of gameplay. It is unique, as you can see, it's creepy too, might be a tad short in overall gameplay, but remember, the game's free and it's actually been available since March last year and now with over 10 million downloads. Guys, next up, uh, actually just a quick mention, uh, we've got Dead by Daylight, uh, just the Android adaptation of the old multiplayer horror game we get to expect from an assassin who possesses supernatural powers, uh, is what I've been heard. Uh, it's a good game, I'm just kidding. It's a good game, however, it is pretty buggy and very laggy in its current state. I've actually played this one myself quite a bit, and honestly, I could tell you it could use a lot more work in terms of actual support. Check it out, though just in case you missed it. <laughs> Number 5. Specimen Zero, on the other hand, is once again a first-person survival horror game. Basically a puzzle game, though, in which you have to gather objects and clues and eventually get to get out of this certain situation. The game is pretty nice, it could use more content, I guess, but very impressive in its current form and very fun to play with friends too. That's actually a must for those of you playing this one. It's got tons of puzzles, pretty good ones, in case you're wondering, it has over 10 million downloads right now, and this is actually how it looks like.
Moving on, it's the old granny chapter one, two, three. A first person, I mean, another first person hide and seek sort of horror game where you technically just have to try and escape an evil grandma in, a, in her house. Only later down the line, specifically in the later installments, granny is not gonna be so much alone. There's gonna be even, even more enemies here. Providing you do have a stable nerve, granny games actually deliver some legit horrifying experiences. It's a fun gameplay, almost, I would say, almost guaranteed to give you a couple of brown pants at least. Especially if you play this one with headphones, which is highly recommended. And yeah, the first game is actually sitting on the Google Play with over 100 million downloads plus. It's also free, take a look. Not my words specifically, but the best mobile backrooms game there is out there. See, at number 7 we have Backrooms The Sense horror game, supposedly a randomly generating horror game that mainly focuses on stealth mechanics where you have to try to hide from enemies just mainly. Personally, I've actually never been a fan of Backrooms, but it doesn't really matter, I just hate everything for no reason. So nonetheless, it's a legitimately fine-tuned and popular game right now on both platforms that is free with literally zero ads if you play the game off line though, so just keep it in mind. Alright guys, moving on we've got Bendy and the Ink Machine. Well, a first person puzzle action horror game, something you might wonder might be developed with some sort of time machine. For all the cartoony atmosphere that it projects, it is the kind of game that delivers, however. I actually recommend this game to simply anyone who likes horror games. If you like good graphics and some nostalgia, actually I'm not really sure how this game even works run so well on the mobile devices considering the graphics, Bendy and the Ink Machine is actually very scary, it's full of surprises, and it'll take you down about 7 bucks, so consider that. At number 9, we have Evil Nun Horror at School, or the other game actually Evil Nun Rushed, I mean, well, both technically first person horror games with the aim to design an extra layer of fear to the old elements that revolve around stories. See, a Horror at School specifically has a pretty fun and scary element in terms of actual gameplay. It is great for those of you who really enjoy it when you get scared. Graphics are good, they're legit. It's got awesome controls and really over-the-top detail. You want to play this game offline if you do get a lot of ads and you will have a perfectly couple of weeks to enjoy changing pants or whatever. Just take a look. Alright guys, moving on at number 10, and once again, it's actually the old ghost survival horror, technically a co-op survival horror game by Gameplayer, actually a very funny and scary game at the same time, one you could play with your friends too, and with a superior online server, for all the private lobbies and servers and such. Well, Actually in the ghost survival, the horror is pretty much, there are all kinds of it, it's actually pretty jam-packed with jump scares and all sorts of wanted and unwanted surprises. So in terms of the old horror game elements, it's actually there. But that's it, the game's sitting on the Google Play Store for free, I'm not really sure even why, and with over 10 million plus downloads right now. Hello all, 
Well, thank you for coming to this very important informational meeting. First, I have to ask, any feds here? And number, well, it doesn't really matter. It's actually the number one pixel art game of all time on the mobile device, says Thimbleweed Park. Well, first off, I know, guys, it's a pixel art game, but it's not only that, it's also a point and click adventure game. But holy sh is this game amazing. Talk about the story, the puzzles, the graphics, the characters, and basically just everything in this game is perfect. Guys, if you like point and click adventure and horror games at the same time, this is a must. Unfortunately, however, the game will cost you about 10 bucks, but I can almost guarantee it. In terms of actual content, it'll deliver at least 10 times worth the money paid for it. What do you know about the Pillow Factory fire? Whoa, now! Are the feds uh, looking into this case? No, he's just curious. He's a Pillow Factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I hope your old diner gets hit by a meteor. Yo, old lady! You up the... You Come on. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. You are out of my will! You're giving up over ten million dollars! That's twenty million in 2017 dollars! It's me, Dolores. I'm a ghost. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I need to get into that factory. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I owe it to him to find out what happened. I'll never get to finish that delicious sandwich. Holy... This can't be. I thought the playable characters couldn't die in adventure games. At number 12, Blue Monster Escape, and now Chapter 2, is basically a horror game where you have to solve some secret of a toy factory while escaping some mummy long legs and huggy wuggy, which is, you know, just pure stuff based on both chapters of Poppy Playtime. So, I don't know. If you want to play a Poppy Playtime style kind of game for free on Androids, well, give this one a shot. It's actually sitting on the platform now for free and very really positive review scores too. Pretty much with over 5 million plus downloads as well. Your every move. So you better be careful. Mommy doesn't like guests. Coming up behind that, we've got Alien Blackout. Well, you know what's touted by the old folks at the company as a fear-inducing premium mobile game experience that mainly captures the essence of the original Alien movies at heart. Well, as you can see, gameplay-wise, it actually does take a pretty fresh approach to mobile games, especially with the open-ended elements and the fact that you'll have to survive a single Xenomorph without the use of any military weapon. Well, check it out, the game will take you about only one dollar and it is perhaps the best alien mobile port out there right now. Move it!
On the other hand, well, I had to mention this one, didn't I? Well, mainly because it's the most played horror game series on the platform right now. Ice Scream has been around since 2019 and so far actually released six back-to-back -back games all packed with content. What's a first-person horror game saga made with some really fun elements in mind? It goes through multiple game modes, the game is and isn't scary at times, but overall actually jam-packed with scares, puzzles and a nice story on top. So make sure to check him out as well. <laughs> Caught all the kids, <laughs> jump the kids, look at them in their cage. I caught all the kids, the bad stupid kids, now some ice cream will be made. <laughs> oh, going to sleep and kids today, we're gonna scream for jump clubby one. We're going to sleep and kids today, we're gonna make some ice cream fun. <laughs> well, well, well. Kids, you're all reunited again? <laughs> I'll leave you alone a moment so you can talk about your adventures. <laughs> but don't get too comfortable. No, no, no. Now that you're all beautiful and plump and chubby, soon you will enter my special room and I'll squeeze you to the last drop. <laughs> And last but not least, it's actually the one and only Five Nights at Freddy's remarkable mobile port number 4. The truth is just this game is truly frightening, even on the mobile devices so to speak, with the improved graphics and compromised sound system. You might want to keep a few things in mind, however. The first off, you gotta wear a headphone, otherwise you get literally zero. Try to play the game at night and have the volume turned up as high as you can just take it. Last but not least, the game will take you about 3 bucks only and it's actually pretty similar to previous entries in the series in terms of actual gameplay. And that's all. <laughs> 